Hey, Wick Click, it's your girl Jade here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite things in the entire world, tops. That's right, and all of your four-legged or two-legged or eight-legged, whatever, friends, and if candles are good for them. Let's get into it. So hopefully you've done your research on what kind of wax a candle should have if you have cute little pets. So paraffin, terrible, really, really bad but the best wax you should use is soy wax because it has a nice clean burn, which is good for all of your pets. Wax is only the beginning though. When it comes to burning your candle, make sure you are following these tips as well. When you're around your little pawpaws. So as you know, all pets have very sensitive noses. They smell a lot of things. So if you are lighting a candle, make sure your door is open in a certain room. So if your pet does not like the smell, they can venture off into another room so they can get away from the scent if it's not their favorite. Callie is very good at climbing and pouncing and being on tables. So whenever you're lighting your candle, make sure it is somewhere where your animals, your dogs, your pets, your cats, whatever, will not be able to get into the fire and into the flame. This should be an obvious one, but I just gotta say it. <laughs> Another obvious one, but one I feel like I have to say is that do not leave a candle lit in a room where you have your animals in it or don't leave a candle left alone at all, <laughs> but especially with your little animals, because we love them. Those out there worrying about where Pumpkin is, don't worry. I'm just on a little trip to visit some friends, mostly these pups, yeah. To ease your mind, Jackpot Candles uses 100% soy wax in all of our candles. We also use 100% cotton wicks in all of our cotton wick options but they are completely safe for animals, for you to burn them around your animals. Going to have a nice clean burn. So keep that in mind for your next candle purchase.